Family and friends said their final goodbyes today to a dedicated public servant. State Representative Sid Michaels Kavulich of Lackawanna County was laid to rest after passing away last week. He was 62 years old. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Dable was at today's funeral service. He joins us now from Divine Mercy Parish in Scranton. Eric? Candace, Nick, good evening. If there is one word that sticks out from today's mass, it is devotion. Sid Michaels Kavulich, according to his friends and family, was devoted to his faith, devoted to his community, and devoted to the people that he represented in Harrisburg. During his time on television and in Harrisburg, Sid Michaels Kavulich was known for his colorful ties. As friends helped him on his final journey Monday as pallbearers, they all wore them in his honor. A small fitting tribute for a state representative who always put others before himself. It's a big hole for the people of Lackawanna County and really for the Commonwealth because he was, uh, he was the epitome of a good public servant. Outside the church, Bishop Joseph Bambera led the faithful in a final prayer. Then everyone made the sign of the cross on his casket, a final way of saying goodbye. It took uh, real time to listen to folks uh, and was considerate in his responses in every way. Kavulich was known to many as a longtime sports anchor here at WBRE and WYOU. That's where he helped put so many young athletes on the map. In Harrisburg, his fellow lawmakers say he was always thinking of ways to help the people he represented. No cause was too small. Even his daughter joked she knew his constituents came first. He just truly cared. He truly cared about whatever he was involved in. He gave it 110 percent. Ron Pasco and Fran Festa are with the musical group The Wannabes. About 10 years ago, Kavulich came to see them and got up on stage to sing with them. They formed a friendship and the musicians say they were better because of it. 20 years from now, you'll still be finding people whose lives he touched and improved in some way. Kabulich's two daughters, Lonnie and Ariel, eulogized him here at this funeral mass this morning. They said that they had never met a man who more faithfully lived his values, but they were also able to make people in the crowd laugh at times, talking about their, their father as a big Black Friday bargain hunter who would often always bring home a TV and hide it from his wife in their garage. We're live tonight in Scranton. Eric Dable, Eyewitness News. Certainly had a sense of humor. He will be missed. Eric, thank you. After today's funeral mass, Kavulich was laid to rest at St. John the Baptist Cemetery in Taylor. And now in honor of Sid Michaels Kavulich, PennDOT is running steer clear messages on all of its message boards in northeastern Pennsylvania this week. One of the many things that Kavulich was working on before his death was how to keep road crews and first responders safe along the interstates. Just about a month ago, he made his final visit to PennDOT's headquarters in Dunmore, wanting to promote safety issues. We made the decision we wanted to put this message up here because we know this was something he was working on, something he was passionate about, and it's a way for us to honor him and his memory. The steer clear message boards will remain up through Friday in honor of Kavulich. And if you want to see more on the legacy Sid leaves behind, head on over to our website, pahomepage.com.